This is another walkthrough of the free campsite at Marul, which is about 30 kilometres west of Aria Park, where the previous video was. Now this is a shot of the huge silos, which are just at the entrance to Marul, and they are massive. We'll just walk up here. They have a contest every year to see who can kick a football over the silos. There's a sign up here. shows that the contest is held in October and just down there there's a list of those who have managed to kick a football over these silos now these are huge this is a shot of the magnificent Royal Hotel at Marul unfortunately it's no longer open Last time I was here, a few years ago, it was run by the residents of Marul and it used to open up an afternoon and it was great. It's a really lovely hotel, but unfortunately there's just a sign saying that due to unforeseen circumstances, the hotel is now closed indefinitely, which is a shame. This is the play area for the children of Marul. This is a very well kept place. And that building just to the, in the distance there is the amenities, which has showers and toilets, and are excellent. Now in here is a little museum, which is Memories of Marul. I'd say it was a very proud town in its day. And up here are some photographs of the Marul harvest in 2000. Now Marul is like any other part of New South Wales, it's in drought. Now here we have photographs of those who served, I guess in probably the First World War and the Second World War, who came from Marul and the surrounding districts. Now this is a sweep of the camp area, that's where I am there. Now powered sites. There's no one here at the moment except me, but there were two or three in last night. They've all left. And I'll be departing tomorrow. So there's a lot of room here, plenty of room, and especially for bigger vehicles too, if you're towing fifth wheeler or whatever they call those things. This is the old church at Marul. It doesn't look like it's used anymore. It's unfortunately looks like it's been vandalized a little bit. Broken windows there. There's no date on it, so I don't know how old it is, but I'd say she's fairly old. It's a shame that's no longer in use. Unfortunately, that's what happens when it's not in use. Vandals get to it.
Now this building here is the community hall, as I understand it. I don't think it gets too much use either. It's like a, a lot of little towns in New South Wales are just unfortunately dying, which is a shame. But we'll just wander around here and have a look. Might be some signs of life. Shot in there, I think you'll see anything. No. Anyway, there's nothing in there to see. So it's having a look around just outside the hall of Maria at Maria. This is the site of the old public school. It was closed, I understand, in 1974. There's not much left now. But they have erected a memorial to the school, which is down there. And it lists all those that did attend between 1909 and 1974. And there looks like the old school bell, or replica anyway. Obviously in this day, Maroo must have been a fairly prosperous region. It had its own school and of course its own hotel, which most of these towns have anyway. But that's a wide shot of the area around Marul. That's the railway line in. And the wheat silos that we saw earlier. And I suppose we'd call this the main street leading up to the Royal Hotel. I know that name, the Royal Hotel, very well. And it's a shame it's closed. I thought I might show you a, a shot of this sign. <laughs> Which is quite funny, really. The chances of hitting a pedestrian here is, is about one in 20 billion. However, I guess at one stage there, there would have been plenty of pedestrians to hit. Before I conclude this video, I just thought we'd wander along the veranda of the Royal Hotel at Maru. A beautiful setting. Just needs some entrepreneur to come along and revitalize this hotel. It seems that it closed in around 2016. I was here a couple of years before that, I think. Anyway, from the veranda, take a wide shot of the camp area. Which is a credit <coughs> credit to the people of Maril. And that con concludes the video on Maril. <laughs>